Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back and welcome to my new room. So it's been a long time coming guys, I know this. It's been almost two years since we started the remodel here at my house and uh, tearing down the old spot and building a new was part of it, but it was last on the list to get done. A lot of things had to get done first, but it's all over. You guys, if you guys have been following me on Instagram at Green Jeans Garden, um, you know what I've been how quickly I've been building this shed putting the walls up putting everything up insulation Painting getting ready working my ass off to get to this point So that we can get some plants in here because also if you've been following me, you know, I have some plants ready to go waiting So now that the build is more or less uh, More or less ready to go a couple last things like this wall I want to paint I'll probably you know, it's a little I'm probably gonna wait till next run to kind of finish it off um, one more vent to go in the bottom, but overall, whoo, we are ready. So what you're looking at here is a complete shed I built from scratch on skids, raised foundation kind of thing. Um, it's a eight by 10 shed, just kind of fit the area that I have, a little smaller than I wanted, but plenty of floor space. And as you can see, I have it set up right now for a four by eight setup. I'm actually gonna run, um, have a little room here, but I'm basically gonna run one light, two lights and maybe a third light here. It's not quite a full light. So um, again, the room ended up a little bit smaller than I wanted to, but overall not too bad. I can thank my wife, Pacific Wife Concepts for that sign. Pretty freaking badass, really brings it together. I felt, felt awesome hanging it, getting this, this view. So I didn't want to bring you guys on the build because I'm not a contractor, though this is built very, very well. I don't need to show you guys how to how to build it. I'll give you guys the plans. The link is in the description for the plans I used and modified um, to build this. But now that we're in here, I want to explain what I did extra to bring it from a you know raw shed, a work shed, to a grow room. And there's just a few main things. So one, we're looking right at it. Right here, guys. Boom, power. So 30 amps of 240, 15 amps of 120 plenty of power keep us going on the lights which are powered by 240 and everything else fans fans circulatory fans that need to get in here all that will run off the 15 amp and if i need to put more i actually have a 50 amp back at the uh the main box so we have a few more amps to play with if we want to up that 120 circuit a little bit to say a 20 amp or something um for now, like I said, I'm gonna be running a four by eight to start out with. So what I did with that power is I hung four PLC 330 bars, the new bars that just came out. You guys saw me do a run with it last time, but here you will get to see the spectrum unadulterated by anything else. Pure, pure results. And as you can see, I've got some sensors hanging down here for the Trollmaster setup. So another thing, if you guys are on Instagram, you'll know much, much about, and it's very hot in here because I don't have the vents and everything set up quite yet. But anyway, this is the Trollmaster setup and this will control my whole room from dimming my lights, sunrise to sunset, to actually killing the power to my box via this trigger cable controlled. Um, and eventually I might even hack it to control my hyperfan if I can figure out if that will take a PWM signal. So we will see how it goes. But anyway, it monitors everything, temp, humidity, uh, CO2, it also will reference that to a VPD number that we can try to ride the VPD. And of course, it's all controlled on my phone wirelessly. So that's a great setup. And then I got the drivers for the 330s up on this joist here, all put away. Don't mind my cable management. It will get better over the run, but I really, um, this just took me longer than I thought. So I had to kind of jam them up in here and I'm still trying to figure out the dimming for all these lights. So to cool the sucker, we are not running any AC. We might throw a, a uh, one ton mini split in here down the road if we need to. I have some really good deals on some Mitsubishi. So thinking about it, you guys are all asking, y'all want me to do it. And if I seal it up, eh, in the summer, in the next few months, I'll really need it. After that, not so much, almost going the other way. Anyway, eight inch hyper fan, my favorite fans in the world. They're just so quiet, so low wattage. It's probably running on like 20 watts right now. Connected to the uh, 20, I think that's the 24 inch, eight inch scrubber, brand new, fresh filter. You, know, you guys know I don't like particularly care for the bargain brands. I actually do prefer fresh 
uh, for my filters. But anyway, a 8x24 inch fresh filter carrying everything out. Have a quick 90 degree uh, hard line into insulated soft line going out there. So there, and then I need to get my light proof vent to come through here. That's the last, last setup. But I think I might just let the plants bake out here tonight, 90 plus degrees, and then get to that tomorrow. So I'm gonna be transferring plants over here in the next hour or so. But I wanted to get you guys in here, show you what this baby looks like. The spaceship back up and running. Um, empty looking good looking nice and clean you know not the perfectly painted white floor you can see where i repainted and stuff but anyway guys feeling good about it glad to be back this is the spot that obviously we'll be bringing content the first run's going to be pretty you know booming right off the bat but after that we're going to stagger it so we always have flower content always have um, buds to photograph it's not just like two or three weeks of the macro wave and you get these fantastic photos from me and then I go cold. I'm gonna try to, this is my content. This is my testing shed. I may do some side-by-sides here, um, divvy it up into you know a five, two five-by-five, five, something like that, or it, plenty to go on. So anyway, <laughs> lots of content to come in here. So stay tuned. Thanks for peeking in. And I will get back at you guys very, very shortly. I'm just going to end this video here, upload this so you guys see the room as it is. And uh, before I go, here, let me flash out and you guys can see a couple of the, uh, the build pics that I took. Uh, just, you know, here you go. Thanks, guys. See you soon.